I would say probably don't follow my example in that we didn't meet with that many people. I think having a broader net and just like managing fundraising process, just like we manage our sales pipeline. That's something we're doing now as we're expanding the round is that we, we really have been managing it through each stage. Where are we, you know, looking at a percent likely to close just like we would for any, you know, sales or customer opportunity. Um, and, ha and the way that you ensure success on that side too is by having a large top of the funnel. So I'd say create create a large net, even though there's so many things you have to do when you're running a business. It's hard. Fundraising is just one of those things. It's hard to say every minute you put in fundraising is a minute. I'm not talking to customers. So it's hard to find that balance. But I think uh, having a large net, but then also finding a few champions or people that are really in your corner and just asking for help. Because if you sit around waiting for someone to give you something, uh, it's never going to happen. You, but if you ask, if you just ask for it, honestly, it, it's a pretty good chance if it's the right people that uh, they, that people are willing to help you out.